Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. And the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. The Panthers have shown over the course of the season that they want to get this guy the football, but you can't just go to him every play. Well, on the road, you especially want to take the crowd out of the game, and the one guy you know who can do it is this wide receiver. The problem you have is this defense, more often than not, is going to be a line to take him out of the game. And that, to your point, Brad, that's where somebody's going to have to step up, whether it's the running game, some of the other receivers, you're going to have to take some of the pressure off of him and really make it a team effort to be able to win this game on the road. They're about four yards away here on second down. And he's tackled at the 46. Third down. taken down at the 39. The offensive lineman played that one perfectly, giving the tailback plenty of space to work with, and he took advantage of it. From the 39-yard line, it's first down. Nice run to the outside. Room around the corner. Good outside run there. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. This kind of execution from an offense can really affect the defense in their psyche. That's the second time on this drive alone they've been able to convert on a third down. This defense has got to be able to kind of gather themselves and try to find some confidence. And somebody on that defense has got to be able to make a play to slow this offense down. Makes it to the 11. They move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. And this play is number eight on the drive. He's scrambling. Tackle made around the 11 yard line. That makes it second and 10. From the 11 yard line, it's second down. And they make the stop at the two yard line. Tenth play of the drive. They stack the line of scrimmage here. Let's see who's got the stronger lineman. And he's in there. Touchdown. And so they punch it in on the ground, Kirk Herbstreit. Great job up front by the offensive line. They get a good, strong push that allowed the runner to get it in there for the touchdown. Splits the uprights with the extra point. A 10-play, 63-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. They can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. So the score now, 7-0. Durbin takes it at the 14. They'll bring him down at the 29-yard line. 
Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. Nice game for the halfback. That time they kept it on the ground with the counterplay. The blocking was great up front, and the tailback was able to get into the open field and do some special things. It's first and 10. Ball on the 39. They come out on an empty backfield. And he's level at the 49-yard line. And that'll be a gain of 10 by the running back. There he goes. Tackled after decent pickup. Good run by the quarterback. The thing that impresses me is the decision making. He sees an opening, decides to turn it upfield, and gets a nice gain in a first down. From the 45-yard line, first down, and he's taken down at the 46-yard line. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. He's on the run. Tackle at the 27. And a quick throw. He's into the open field. And he's shoved out of bounds around the 15-yard line. From the 15-yard line. First down. Up the middle for a nice game. That makes it second and six. This is the ninth play of this drive. Both offenses trying to find their rhythm in that first quarter. Low scoring and close right now. 7-0, Panthers. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. He's going to try and scramble. And the offensive coordinator right now is very happy with the execution. That's the fifth first down on this drive alone. The big thing is when you have this kind of drive going, you don't want to end it in a field goal. Now you want to focus on trying to put the football into the end zone. And it pays off. Touchdown. This is what an offensive lineman hopes for. An opportunity to impose his will on the defense. Will be tied with the extra point. And he tacks on the extra point. Richardson ready to kick. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Gets it 
needs it. He's in space. I'm a huge fan of the play action pass in college football because the play action, it really puts a lot of pressure on the defense. The defense gets caught up and concerned about the running game, and it puts them out of position. And it makes the throwing lanes for the quarterback and the windows that he's trying to find much easier to find for a quarterback and the receivers to pick up big yards like we just saw there. From their own 40-yard line, it's first down. They try to run up the middle, but met in the backfield. So the halfback loses about two on the run. Quick throw out to the receiver. Brought down at the 48-yard line. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. It's complete. He's tackled at the 42-yard line. I think play action is a big part of this offense and what they're trying to do today. It's, you know, they're running the football, and they're mixing in some play action. And what that does is it freezes the linebackers and the safeties and puts a lot of pressure on them they have to be able to defend both the run and the play action. And as a play caller, when I know I can go to play action pass, boy, I feel really good about it. It's getting my quarterback in rhythm, slowing down the defense, and giving us a chance to make big plays. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Quick out to his receiver. Besides going deep on the fade, the slant route is probably the most commonly run route against man coverage. If the receiver gets a good inside release, it'll be a new set of downs every time. He made a good read here to find his teammate. That's sound decision making. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. Now he's scrambling. And they got him. And that's the defensive end who was able to get him that time. It's pretty awesome when a freshman can work his way through the offensive line to get a sack like that. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Man left, man left. Down, down. Watch the Watch the Motion. 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 Now he tries to buy some time. The Panthers taking their first time out of the half. First and ten. Ten yards to the end zone. It's the 11th play of the drive. He scrambled. Keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. It was an 11 play, 75 yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. The score now 14 7. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Boy, this is turning into a shootout here. Now, remember, the last time we saw this offense out in the field, they answered the bell and scored a touchdown. Can they do that now a second time? With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. It's on the ground. They fall on it. 
Man, that is a tough break for the offense. You connect with your wide out, hoping to make a play, and he winds up losing control of the ball. Man, that hurts. A touchdown was the end result of their last drive as this offense moved the ball very well with their passing game. This quarterback right now is in a rhythm, and a lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now with the reads that he's being able to make, getting the football out of his hands, that he's feeling very, very confident in his ability to throw the football against this defense. That makes it first and ten. From the 25-yard line, first down. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. And down he goes, right around the 18-yard line. The quarterback trying to make a play. Well, he did a nice job of getting some yards there on the scramble, but he needs to learn to slide to avoid those big hits. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. They'll bring him down at the 14. Hey, it's a, it's a first down for this offense that keeps everybody enthusiastic. You can see the momentum that this offense is gaining. The coaches and the players on the sideline are fired up, and hey, it's a new set of downs. the throw incomplete pass second down 10 to go ball on the 14 makes it to the five scrambling around they bring their quarterback down. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. This isn't much more than an extra point. And if they can connect on this one, that'll put them up by a couple of scores. He gets it up, and it is good. We're halfway through, and it's been a good one. The Panthers with a 10-point lead. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. It's usually just something that a coach writes on the board. No big plays. No. But typically when you have offenses like these, you get a few big plays. Uh, what do you think the defense has done so well in terms of taking away those long plays? Well, that's always your goal coming into a game is you want the offense to drive the length of the field and make them put together third down, you know, explosive, or make them put together third downs and make them get short yardage. Really just you're okay with them eating up the clock and just not getting explosive plays and big, long touchdowns. And, and that's your goal. How do you do it? you got to just limit the damage. Sometimes you're going to give up that 10-yard play. You make a tackle, you wrap it up, you get back in the huddle. Sometimes you're going to give up a big run. Wrap them up, don't let them get, don't let them score a touchdown. So you always want to make an offense drive the length of the field and earn everything they get. And so far in the first half, that's what they've done. David and I will stay locked in on everything going on in college football. We're going to wrap it up here in the studio. Just about time to get you out to your second half. Brad and Kirk ready with a call. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. 
Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. He's taken down at about the 35. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Well, you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. He's gobbled up in the backfield. The defense was playing the run all the way, and they got it right. Nice work. Durbin awaits the snap. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He's to the 40. He makes it to the 42-yard line. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? to the tailback. He makes it to the 45-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball in their own 45. That's a tight end who's wide open out there. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Got a man. Watch out here. And they make the stop at the 34. He's scrambling. No one opens, so he's going to run. Tackle made at about the 21. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 21. Hand off up the middle. He makes it to the 18-yard line. They try running left. He makes it to the 15 yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. The Panthers running back taken out earlier, sideline with that injury. However, it looks like he's going to be able to come back in this game. He's on the run. He's wrapped up for the sack. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. The kick is up, and it's good. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. 
This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Panthers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. Their last drive ended in a punch, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Tackle right around the 42-yard line. It's always a snap decision when you decide to tuck it and run. On that play, it was definitely the right move as he got the first down after a nice game. From their own 42-yard line, first down. Three yards there on the option keeper. That makes it second and eight. And he's taken down at the 40-yard line. He gets another set of downs and, more importantly, opens up a whole host of play-calling possibilities for the coaching staff. First and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. He's at the 30, gains his way to the 29-yard line. The offense coordinator has to be elated with the way his offense right now is executed. They're not in a hurry, but they're very, very methodical and very consistent with their approach. That's the third first down that they've picked up on this drive. Finds his man, first down. Brought down in the open field. Well, a new quarterback, but we saw this kid getting reps both in practice and in the pregame walkthrough, so this isn't a big surprise. From the 15-yard line, it's first down. Quick throw, caught, touchdown. That's a positive for the passing game. It was absolutely the right call in that situation. on the extra point. A six-play, 74-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, not only did they put points up on the board, but I think it's the way they did it. That could be demoralizing for defense. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Kirk, not sure what went on in the locker room at halftime, but both offenses have really come ready to play in this third quarter. I think that's really what separates a good team from a great team, is being able to make the adjustments at halftime and come out and, and being able to execute. And so far, we've seen both these offenses able to do that. The quarterback leads his squad back out. They got three on their last possession. He's going to try and scramble. Brought down at the 30. That's good for a game of five yards. That brings him second and five. A great game so far, and it looks like it'll be decided in the fourth. 2014 Panthers. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. Now he's scrambling. And he tackles him hard at the 37. One thing about this quarterback is when the play breaks down, he has a way of improvising and getting positive yards. 
First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 37. Now he tries to buy some time. He's tackled at the 46. That brings up second and one. Two times, two times. He's got it out to his tight end. Very good tackle in space. That makes it first and ten. From their own 48-yard line. First down. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. That's a deep run on the play. That brings up second and nine. Pushed out of bounds at the 48-yard line. And so it's another third down upcoming here. He scrambled. And down he goes at the 46-yard line. That makes it fourth and four. Salyer is back deep to return the punt. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Just under three to go in regulation. Scrambling around. They'll bring him down right around the 20. No good game to play. That makes it six and ten. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 20. Fires it out. He's taken down at the 21. a great series here for the defensive side. They know they've got the upper hand right now late in this game. And watch out. They're going to bring the heat right here. Oh, excellent punt. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. A score here might effectively end this one. handoff he fights forward to about the 43 a one yard gain by the halfback it's second and nine ball on the 43 and he is drilled at the 45 Fred, that's a huge first down for this offense at this point the defense's only hope is they've got to try to rip that ball away from the quarterback or the running back to get the football back to their offense because the clock now is a big factor. The Rams using their third and last timeout. Just under two to go in the game. Makes it out to about the 33. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 33. Gets out to about the 21-yard line. 
We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. If you're an offensive coordinator, you love this play. His quarterback will take a knee. The Panthers, coaching staff, Kirk, do they start wondering, hey, uh, are we going to have trouble with our star player after the struggles he had today? Well, I think the coaching staff's got to be happy that this team was able to win the football game and overcome the fact that their star player didn't have a great game. But I think making adjustments and changing the game plan because their star didn't deliver, I think that would be a big mistake. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.